All right. Um, thank you, Director Cedarberg. And actually, my role here today is um, kind of the herder of cats, the chief cook, bottle washer, whatever needs to happen. I am not a muckety muck, and I am not a financial expert. Um, I have just chosen over the last seven or eight years to work with individuals who are committed to serving Michigan residents to make us all more wise, more savvy, and better equipped to make personal finance decisions. So my job here today is to kind of give you the, um, uh, the, the, the housekeeping details, the lay of the land, what you can expect. And let's face it, um, the reason that we're all here today is because we all have one surpassing concern. No matter what your age or um, where you find yourself in life, we all are concerned about ensuring that we have enough money, whether it be 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, or 50 years, to sustain us beyond the years when we are earning an income. We all have that same concern. So uh, the, the Reinventing My Retirement Initiative, as uh, Director Cedarberg uh, so aptly de uh, described, is a collaborative effort, and you're going to hear about that from uh, the DIFF's director, uh, Ann Flood, in just a moment. But a lot of folks put a lot of work into making this initiative possible. And this is one of eight locations around the state that this is happening all at the same time um, with experts providing their time and expertise to other Michigan residents. And so uh, whether you're already retired, your days, weeks, or decades from retirement, we all need to be more aware, more informed, and in control over our finances and our financial future. So uh, as uh, Director Cedarberg mentioned, this is uh, an effort led by the Michigan Department of Insurance and Financial Services in collaboration with the Office of Services to the Aging and Licensing and Regulatory Affairs, as well as a host, and I do mean a plethora, I know it's an SAT word and it's early in the morning, but a lot of organizations both from the public sector, nonprofit sector, and from the private sector who all came together to make this possible. All right, so I mentioned earlier to all of you that in your bag you have a copy of the Reinventing My Retirement. And you know what? MI stands for Michigan, right? But just like politics and real estate, it all comes down to local, right? Because it's my retirement. It's your retirement. So we intentionally named this initiative Reinventing MI for the double meaning because it's short for Michigan, but it also is about my retirement. It's about your retirement. So uh, today, what I get to do now is uh, we're going to take a few minutes and we're going to walk through the financial toolkit very briefly. We're not going to make this a congressional study. But I want to draw your attention to its organization, first of all. Because as I mentioned, in addition to the hard copy that you all received here today, it will be available online. Okay, so I do have a few slides that we will walk through, only about 425 of them, so don't worry. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, you will see that the financial toolkit uh, was made up of input. All these great folks that we've been mentioning from the banks, the, the, the credit unions, the, the, the government organizations, the regulators, um, uh, investment advisors, all contributed and we looked through, we, not me, but uh, uh, the staff at the state of Michigan looked through just an enormous amount of content that was contributed to put together for you today this toolkit. So it was made possible with the input of a whole lot of pretty smart folks, I will say. So there are two forms that this takes. One is the hard copy that you hold in your hot little hands, and the other form is online, which you can view. You can view it by topic, you can view it by section, you can also save it. You can download it to your computer or other storage device. Both of those versions, the printed version that you have with you, as well as the online version, are organized and color-coded. So uh, the financial education section is very robust. It's very thick. That's the blue section. Reinventing retirement is the green section. The section on financial protection we made red, <laughs> pretty appropriate, right? And the financial resources section is black. 
So the home page, when you go to this toolkit online, the, 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 the home page contains navigational tabs across the top, instructions for requesting a free printed copy. So let's say you have family members or neighbors or friends who couldn't be here today. We can mail them a copy too. So there are instructions on the home page for how a, a copy can be requested if they prefer to have one in their hot little hands versus online. There's also an icon to download and save the toolkit directly to your computer as I mentioned. There's a link to a retirement calculator, and there are a lot of retirement calculators out there. I'm sure many of you have seen them, you've heard of them, you may have used them. It's not the end-all be-all. Please don't plan your entire financial future based on a single uh, online calculator. However, it can be a very good starting point or a guidepost. There's also a button to uh, the toolkit contributors, so we do acknowledge um, all of those organizations that contributed. This is a screenshot of what that home page looks like. Very easy to navigate, very clean, very uncluttered. It's the way I like things, too. So along the top, you see the tabs are color-coded, just as the sections in your toolkit. Pretty smart, huh? Pretty cool. The second section, number two, that's where you can request a hard copy for those who weren't able to make it to one of the eight sites today. Number three in the center of the page is where you can download and save the entire financial toolkit to your computer. Number four, obviously, is where the retirement calculator is located. And then number five is the button that uh, uh, you click to, uh, to see all of the contributors. Within the four sections of the online toolkit, you can select from all of the topics that are contained within that section. Within each specific topic, you can do the following. You can print a particular page directly from the online toolkit. You don't have to print the whole hundred and whatever pages it is. You can print that particular page. Or if, it, if it's a section that runs over to two pages, obviously it'll print both pages. You can print those checklists that Mr. Robinson referenced. There are at least nine checklists in here. And the reason checklists work is because they keep you from skipping things that might be small but important. So the checklist system. There's also an optional related content section. So if you're in a, a, a personal finance section or in, an investing section, let's say, up in the upper right-hand corner, it has other relevant or related uh, topics that you can hyperlink to, that you can click on. And then, of course, there are navigation buttons that allow you to jump back home or jump back to the top of a particular section. Because this is a very robust guide. You don't have to scroll, you know, your finger scroll, 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 scroll through 90 pages to get back to the beginning. So this is a screenshot for you of one of the sections of the toolkit that I mentioned a moment ago. There's the ability to print that page, item number one. Item number two is you can print that related checklist. Now there isn't a checklist for every single topic in the toolkit. But where that is relevant, uh, uh, you can print the checklist as well. Over in that right-hand margin is where the related content uh, hyperlinks exist. I know you can't read that. That's why I put a big, big number three, <laughs> because it's very small type. Um, and then, of course, at the bottom of the page are the navigational buttons to make it easy for you to jump around and get back to where you, you get back to the beginning. Section number one in your book, as well as in the um, online guide uh, covers these basic, I call them buckets. I know that's a very, uh, uh, it's a technical term, right? So the buckets that exist are financial tools, financial products, investment knowledge, financial decisions, and then financial organization. Because a lot of this comes down to getting yourself organized. So obviously, within each of those components, there are a variety of topics. Debit, credit, cash, insurance, annuities, mortgages, payday loans, and so forth. So in that first section, the blue section of financial education, it is I think it is the thickest section um, of the toolkit. covers all of these topics. Section number two, the reinventing retirement section, has preparing for and living through retirement topics, both the pre- and post-retirement checklists, converting wealth to income, 
Matching your investments to your goals, very important, which I know they'll talk about in the Investing Fundamentals workshop. And then financial crisis management. Even with all the best possible planning, things happen, right? Life happens. Um, credit, foreclosure, bankruptcy, uh, the financial impact of losing a spouse or a loved one are a couple of examples of topics within uh, the reinventing retirement section of the toolkit. The third section is on the protection side. So recognizing scams, both uh, national as well as local, identity theft, both prevention, right, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, I hear my grandparents in the back of my head, um, identity theft, consumer tips, investment scams and fraud as well. Unfortunately, it does happen. Common investment threats and how to spot a con artist. In the fourth section, the black section, financial resources, does include a couple of directories um, that were added, which were um, very responsive uh, to some input that we received. So emergency financial resources and senior services, there's a directory um, in that fourth section, as well as a directory of resources for veterans. So very, very brief, very high level overview for you, but I wanted you to know how your toolkit is organized because in addition to the workshops you'll be attending, the resource fair that you will be shopping, and those that pre-registered for a financial checkup, each of the financial coaches have been studying this guide, at least they better have been, um, so that they will also be able to pivot after helping you with your question, your you know, the pre-identified question that you um, indicated, to point you to a section in that toolkit that may be of uh, additional use to you. So all of the things happening here today are interlinked. Let's be clear, okay? We have our general session where we, we learned about thinking about being a better consumer. I don't think it's something that we all really think about, that you are a consumer. You are an investor and a depositor and all of those other things, but you are a consumer of financial services. And maybe we need to think about that a little bit differently. Our workshops, very interesting topics, and I'm gonna go through the uh, room uh, uh, assignments in just a moment because those are not printed in your uh, program book, um, to my surprise, so I will go through those. The um, financial checkups allow you to get your personal question answered. So we're going from some very general topics to some workshop-specific topics right down to there are a lot of smiling faces out here in the resource fair as well. Good folks who can help with you know, setting a spending plan or budgeting or estate planning and then even more sp specific, more specificity into the financial coaching. 